Here I am in my Kader house. Um, the benching on the left hand side that came with it is not very deep, which is a great thing because it means you can put stuff underneath and it still gets light. Over on the right hand side here though, I want deep benching and I've decided to go for pallets. So you can see here, I've done half of the benching. It's uh, some pretty rough old pallets that I got from a nurseryman friend. Um, the supports for the pallets are pretty basic, fairly agricultural. What I'm using is um, Met Posts, well they're not Met Post brand, but they're a similar thing, like that. Hammered into the soil, they go down quite deep. And then three by three posts pushed into them. Nothing's very level or particularly upright, but it's very strong. And I'm working on the other section here. And you can see that's not level at all because I've not cut the end post yet to make it level. And there's the second rail. And the way it works is that the bench itself depends on the structure of the pallets for strength. So there's just two rails like so, one each side, and they're bolted in to the met posts. You can see on this one. So if I want to take them out, I can just unscrew them, pull out the uprights, and I can use the border soil again. And I'm using three by three uprights, and the horizontal beams are four by two. So they're pretty strong. Um, I think they're strong enough to take the sort of weight. You can see some of what's going on there is um, quite big pots. Most of these are salvias. Just a, a rundown, there's some multi-sown carrots in pots that will be planted out later in the polytunnel. And this is a crate of yakon. These are the edible tubers and the um, propagules still intact. I've got to break them off and pot them up yet. So that's a little bit of what's going on in here. Uh, you can see Everything's all piled up because I'm doing this building at the moment, but that's that's a Vitapod um, propagator. Needs a bit of a clean. Um, this is a Geopod propagator, which is new, hence looking clean, with a couple of modifications that I've made. The lights I've stuck down with Gorilla Tape, both sides there. And because it's so big and the lid is so heavy, I've rigged up just a couple of butcher's hooks. I can't do this one-handed, but there are some butcher's hooks there that just hook into the edge of the lid. And then that holds it up so that I can get in there to, well, I can't get in there, but I can get a watering can in there to water and such like. And uh, it's all looking fairly dismal in here at the moment, although there's, there's some nice growth coming. Got a bit of salad greens coming on there. Uh, and that's it really. That's my bench building process for the Kader house. Oh, most essential tool, chainsaw. Really, I reckon if you can't do it with a chainsaw, it's not worth doing. That's it. Cheers.